Hi, I'm Tony, and this is the story of the build of this 31 foot 8 inch J. Benford designed cruising sailboat. From the lofting of the lines to her emerging from the boat shed to receive her keel, masts, and all the other paraphernalia that make up a cruising vessel. Join us on this adventure as we build to patch her and hopefully set off to test her out as a liveaboard cruising vessel. Hi all, well, it's a lovely sunny day, gentle breeze, birds are singing. I wanted to start off by, by apologising for something from last week in that I forgot to switch off most of the ads that YouTube automatically puts in there and, and so I think for the first couple of days some of you may have had rather a lot of ads possibly in the video. Normally I reduce it down to a couple of ads but um, oh sorry, I forgot to do it last week. Uh, this time started off uh, getting a bit of paint on the keel. It was my, my goal was to get the keel completely sealed in. I've got now got three coats of uh, epoxy primer sealer over the entire thing. It all looks very green and beautiful. Uh, and then next little project I wanted to do was to uh, put a lid on the anchor box. This is kind of inspired the anchor chain box. This was kind of inspired by uh, what we did on Hazel's boat. It came out very well and she put a very nice catch on the lid so I asked her to get me one the same and uh, I did that because this is all building up to the big event of the week which is starting on the masts and we get there. Well, in the boat shed. The boat, of course, is not in the boat shed. It's outside in the yard. But uh, luckily, the boat shed is also just about exactly the right length to make the masts in. And that's what we're up to starting this week, at least. 
The boat has two masts, um, unstayed masts, they will be. The foremast is a bit under 10 metres, the main mast a bit over 10 metres. And I'm building them up out of uh, 8 by 8 centimetre, 80 by 80 millimetre square sections of spruce, square lengths of spruce. That spruce came in, in 5 metre lengths and so obviously the first job is to scarf some pieces together to give me the lengths needed. And it's also important to make sure that the scarf joints are staggered. The bulk of the mast is made up of four sections glued together and make sure that those scarfs don't come in the same place, they're staggered on the, on the length of the mast. Now clearly the mast is bigger than 16 centimetres diameter, so uh, at its thickest, but it tapers to the top, comes down to the partners where it's full width and then tapers down to the mast foot as well. So a lot of the mast is under 16 centimetres diameter, it will be round. Uh, which means I can make most of it out of four pieces glued together. Um, and then at the thickest section I'll have to laminate some other pieces on top of that. Uh, I say, started off by scarfing pieces up. We cut the scarf joints on the table saw. I found a very interesting paper published by Solent University, the Marine Department, and they've done testing on uh, wooden scarf joints uh, in oak, but um, the outcome of that was that they found a 10 to 1 scarf joint um, which is you know, 10 times the length is 10 times the thickness uh, worked out you know, to be supremely strong or as strong as an unscarfed piece of wood basically. So my 8 centimetre thick wood, clearly 80 centimetres length on the scarf, mark those out, cut them, Kerry and I cut the longer pieces, the short ones I could manage alone and uh, glued them up.
classroom. So both masks will have a, a hole up the middle, 25 millimeter, one inch square hole up the middle, which is enough to run, you know, the VHF antenna or whatever. Cable up there, um, and that's easy. When, when you're making it up out of four sections, it's just a case of taking the corner off of each one, inside corner off of each one. Uh, but there, a bit of thought, which way round to orient the grain? And, uh, I had a look at what another builder had done and then I read some forums and I decided to go to orient, orientate the grain as though it were a tree. I think the, the, the forum tips I read said that you know trees basically have it right so uh, I took off the, the centre for the, for the hole up the length and, and basically I'm gluing the pieces together so the grain runs circular in the mast. Yeah. <laughs> 
size or what we, what have we been doing? Come on. Uh, well, the big project today was the solar panels. I'm going to pan down and show them. That's the back of the solar panel, obviously. <laughs> Fold it down. Do you want to pivot it up for the... Again. Just, uh, just by hand. No. Oh, no. I've, I've got, got, the, got the lanyard on, so you can't. No, never mind. It's got those swiveling around port and starboard side. Solar panels mounted on the rail. We changed the rail to a solid rail a while back, didn't we? Yes, I did. What else have we done, Hush? We, well, I bought a new leisure battery, yeah. the bigger one. So, well, we fitted that one last week, but we had to put the, the starter battery, the starter yeah. battery in differently. So, mm. did that. Got that. Yeah. Is that all we've done today? Surely not. No, the depth sounder. Yeah, true. We wired that up and mm -hmm. it works. That's yeah. Very cool. That's come out well. So all together this winter we've done that, we've done the swim ladder. Yeah. I'm just gonna super fancy. Film down there, show you a swim ladder. We've done the anchoring setup, yeah. haven't we? The bow roller, anchor box. Yeah. Uh new halyard, which yes. we mentioned last time. A few new lines. Is that it? Seems like well you put a lee cloth in, haven't you? Yeah. Um there must be a lot more. It doesn't seem like nearly enough. Oh, well, we did the cutlass the, bearing, didn't we? Yeah, and the keel fixed all of that. Yeah, yeah. So while she was hauled out. New anti foul, of course. Yeah. Naturally. Um, we adjusted the stuffing box so it's yeah, not dripping and the anymore. New alternator, that was. New alternator, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was a big one. Uh, yeah. What else did we do? Oh, I bought new taps. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like new. And pumping taps, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably proud yeah, of the truth. Yeah, some odd little bits here and there. Yeah. Takes a while, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> but you're ready to go? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Keep us informed. Sends yes. a video now and again. Of course. <laughs> Report. We are sailing and solar panels are working. <laughs> Sun is shining. Oh, I have to stand now. Bye. Well, it's certainly good to get Hazel's boat finished and uh, I've been going up there one day a week for, for many weeks now doing, you know, work on it, getting it ready and of course the, the list that we told you was missing a few items, uh, the mast wedges for example, there, there were several things that we forgot to mention. Anyhow, she's away so I say great that I don't have to go up there anymore but it's also great that she's, she's finished and you know achieved what she wanted to do to the boat this winter. And she's underway. She's sailing with her, her sister Elizabeth at the moment. And as I s record this, they are anchored off the Danish island of Samsø, which may or may not be pronounced correctly. But they're, they're heading up to, to pop through this little fjord that, that crosses Denmark. Uh, um, and they're going to go out into the North Sea from there. So they, they did a, an overnight passage last night. and. Uh, um, obviously this time of year there's, there's not much dark, especially a bit further north from here as they reported it really didn't get dark last night so that was made it, made it for a very easy night passage but they've done well, the boat's going well I think the new bottom paint is helping a lot um, and they're, they're getting on very quickly and that is it for this week. Now I shall try to keep you updated on, on Hazel's travels. I don't think she's got plans to start her own channel um, but where possible I'll give you a bit of video and keep you updated what she's up to. And I say that's it for this week. Thank you, massive thank you from me to you for watching um, and for your support. Uh, yeah, big 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 thanks to the guys that support the channel on Patreon and via PayPal. You guys rock and really, you know, makes this all work. Um, we'll be pushing on with the mast, or I at least will be pushing on with the masts. 
a uh, lot to do there still but we're getting there don't forget to hit the old subscribe button leave a comment all that stuff see you next time bye